Hello, friends, and welcome to a lesson about surface area. It's a pretty cool thing to be able to do. You know, area is pretty easy. We can uh, have a flat object like this and measure its base and its height and find out how much space it takes up, or area. But what about something like this pack of cards? It's a three-dimensional object and it has many faces. And you could measure each of those faces individually to find the total surface area of this object, but I'd like to teach you a way to do it even simpler. You're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need a straight edge, and you're going to need a pencil, and also an object. This pack of cards is pretty nice. It's small, it fits on this paper, and that fits on this screen. So that will help you. You may have bigger paper, bigger objects, smaller objects, smaller paper, but either way, once you do enough of this practice, you won't need these things to find that area. You'll have a formula. So what we're going to do first is create a line across our paper. Just a nice straight line. Fantastic. And then we're going to take our object. And look at all the faces. How many faces does this have? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Cool. Let's start with the lateral faces, the side faces. And let's measure those. In fact, we're actually going to trace them. Put it down right on that line and trace each side of that face. There's one. You're going to take it and very carefully roll it over, keeping it lined up so you can get that next face. And roll it one more time and you'll get the next face. And actually, we're going to roll it one last time to get the final face. Very cool. And what you may see now is this rectangle, a larger rectangle made of smaller rectangles. And let's talk about the parts of that rectangle. We've got the base and the height, right. But where did these two measurements come from? Let's look at our object again. This base right here is the bottom. It's this, 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 and this edge. All four of these edges, which outline another face, one of the bases of this object. Um, that is a perimeter right there. The way around a face, the way around an object is its perimeter. And so this base right here is actually the perimeter of the base of our pack of cards. So if we were gonna find the lateral area, what we need to do is multiply that perimeter times that height. Let's do it. Lateral area equals perimeter times height. And now we need to measure those things and multiply them together. So what is that perimeter? Hmm. Let's try centimeters and see if we can make it just a little, ooh, look at that, perfect, 17 centimeters. Got to remember the unit that I'm using. Let's find out the height, same unit, nine centimeters. That's not going to be too bad to multiply out. Can you figure that one out for me, 17 times nine? That's right, 153. The lateral area of this pack of cards is 153 centimeters squared. So that's the area of this face, plus the area of that face, plus the area of that face, plus the area of that face, without having to add them up after solving all of them. We can get them all at the same time. But we don't have the total surface area of this object. To get that, we have this face, and this face, which we could refer to as the basis of our object. So, hmm, 
Well, let's trace these bases. Line that back up if you need to and stand it up to get the first base. And then lay it back down, line it up, make sure it's lined up, stand it up on its head and trace that face. And now we've got all the faces traced. So how many of those faces do we have? And we can call them bases. There's one there and one there. There's two of these bases. Let's put a nice capital B in each of them. So we know the lateral area. We figured that out and we know the formula for lateral area. So now we need to create a formula for total surface area. And let's call that TA. What does that equal? Maybe you're starting to get an idea of this already. What do we need to do? We need the lateral area. Yes, that's true. And that is what? That, that perimeter, that base perimeter times height. But then we have these two bases. How do we work those into there? Do you think we could find the area of one and then just multiply it? Let's try perimeter times height plus two times the area of these bases. Uh, we can simplify this a little bit more to make it make even more sense, perimeter times height plus two times base times height of those bases. What an extraordinary formula. Well, we already know our lateral area. We solved that already. So we can put that 153 here. Let's find out the area of one of these bases. Seven centimeter base of that base and a one centimeter height. That's pretty awesome. So two times seven times one. I bet you know what two times seven times one is. Yes, 14. We have 153 plus 14. Oh, that's a tough one. Hmm. Yes, of course, 167 centimeters squared. Congratulations. We just found the total surface area of this pack of cards, 167 centimeters squared. Could you even believe that on the surface of this package, there's 167 centimeters squared? It's a lot of area. Almost as if we took this and pulled it apart and got it all flattened out and nice. Well, why don't you go find some rectangular prism objects and find their total surface area? Maybe it's like a fish tank. Oh, maybe it's the door to your bedroom. Maybe even your dining room table if it has enough thickness on the side or, well, I'm sure you can find some pretty cool things. So off you go to explore that total surface area.